Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Affen Lido for the uh, end of season review for the 2020-2021 season. Um, and as you can see, we are the champions again for the eighth year running, actually, um, which is pretty crazy. So I'll just take you through the well league table, show you the league table. We did finish top, 29 wins, three draws, um, not as good as I would have liked. Um, but there we go. TNS in the end finished second, and Banger City finished uh, third. Abba fourth. Airbus dropped off uh, along with Real. Newtown uh, came seventh. Ryder picked up a lot, and I think this is one of the first times both the promoted teams stayed up this season, with Ryder and Penny Bond staying up, and Bala, who were top at one point, um, I think last uh, session, recording session, got relegated along with Habit West, so we won't see them next year, which is a bit weird. Seeing as they've been here for quite a long time, I think. Well, Bala have, at least. But there we go. Um, we did get 96 goals this season. Uh, one less than last season. And we conceded one more than we did last season. Um, so, overall, not too bad. Um, I'll take you through the fixtures. Um, after that 8-0 win, we took on TNS. And we uh, won 3-2. Lee Williams with 2. And Simon Draper with 1 there, all in the first half. Then we drew 1-1 with Bangor City, which was annoying. Uh, Alan Edwards getting us one after they had a man sent off and then scored and we couldn't get that second goal, it was really annoying. Uh, then we beat Real 2-0, um, Simon Drake with two, and we actually won the league after this game in February. So it's kind of ridiculous how overpowered we are at the moment. And Well, it's just the other teams not doing as well against each other, like TNS normally would drive us to the sort of, the th this sort of area here, like this band of games we'd win it like this one here but because they did have such a poor start we won it back in february so motivation was kind of an issue because they always do that but uh that's why we had a few draws we do, did draw again with banger um later on but uh to go through we beat abba 3-1 jake charles an own goal and billy thompson um then we had airbus in the quarterfinals of the welsh cup 5-2 adam hillier with three lee williams and leon house with the goals there. Uh, then we beat them away in the league 2-1. Lewis O'Connor and Simon Hurley. I think when his first goal for the club. Um, and then uh, TNS we beat 2-0. Uh, Adam Hillier and Lewis O'Connor. Drew 0-0 with um, Bangor City which is really annoying. Uh, didn't do anything in this game. Uh, then we beat Airbus again 4-1. Um, Darren McCaw with 2. Hillier and Dane, Darren Mainwaring with 2 there. The Welsh Cup semi-final versus TNS we Beat them 2-0 easily. Jake Charles and Simon Draper. They had a man sent off later on. Then we um, beat Real 4-2 away. Jake Charles with two. Uh, Alan Edwards and Darren McCourt all in the first half. And they got two later on. Uh, then we had Bangor City in the Premier League Cup final. Which is a very odd game. It was 0-0 all the way up to full time. And then in extra time we scored three. Draper, Simon Hurley and Billy Thompson with three. So they just decided, I think, decided to keep going make the game go on a lot while and then just crush their dreams in the in extra time which is a bit crazy so we won the premier league cup final again um then uh, uh we beat abba 4-1 last game in the league lewis o'connor leon house and ricky evans got two there and then we beat them 4-0 comfortably in the cup final billy thompson with a hat trick and adam hillier with a goal there as well so yeah we we dominated the league this year um very very good here um but actually, awards-wise, oh yeah, we did um, awards-wise, well, let's go stats-wise first. We didn't have anyone top scorers. Um, Dave Hughes for Banger got 21, and Lee Jones for TNS got um, 21 also. But Darren McCaw did get the most assists, and then Jake Charles got 11 as well. Um, Darren McCaw's done very well. He's 16 years old, and he scored 11 and got 13 assists in 18 games. So a very good first season for him. Um, and then Darren McCall had the highest rating with Jake Charles and Simon Draper up there as well. Um, if we do go to awards, um, manager of the year went to me for another year. Um, yeah, play of the year went to Jake Charles, surprisingly. He did play a lot in the league. He had 21 appearances, 11 goals, 11 assists, and 7.46 average rating. Simon Draper wasn't even in the voting options just because he hadn't played enough games in the league because he was Champions League. Um, mostly. Team of the season one wasn't as dominant as last year. Uh, we had Holden, um, who was our sort of league left back. 
Lewis O'Connor, Leon House, Simon Draper, which is odd, and Alex Evans. Even so, he didn't have Jake Charles in that, which is very weird, seeing as Player of the Year. Um, and then awards also. Uh, top goal scorer obviously went to Dave Hughes. Um, but then young player of the year went to Darren McCaw as well. So he did very well there. Surprised to not see him in the team of the year. But that's another win for us in a row. Um, Hillier had it for two years. Um, but yeah, so he did um, win all those uh, accolades. Um, and actually, I forgot to show you last time the awards uh, for player of the year. Gareth Bale won it this year. Simon Draper was actually in the running for player of the year. Uh, young player of the year went to Simon Draper, though, um, for the third year running. Adam, H Adam Hillier came in second, and then Darren Bevan from Dundee came in third. So that's the second year in a row, uh, well, third year in a row that uh, Draper and Hillier have been in there. Um, Hillier's now got seven appearances for Wales, and Simon Draper's got six and two goals. So they're starting to become regulars in the team, which is pretty crazy. Um, uh, if we show you our team and stats-wise... Goals-wise, Lee Williams actually had the most this year, along with Billy Thompson. They both had 18 each. Adam Hilly had 16. Simon Draper, quite an off year for him. He had 15, but he was playing more of a supporting role. Ricky Evans with 12, and Jake Charles with 12. So there's six players there with over 10 goals, and four of them over have 15, which is pretty crazy. Um, Assists-wise, Simon Draper was top, though. Um, 19 assists for him, 17 for Williams, 15 for uh, Hillier and Thompson, and 13 for Jake Charles. Average rating, Hillier and Draper at the top, with Alex Evans there as also, and to read, Jake Charles. So overall, very, very good season um, on that front there. Transfer-wise, nothing's really happening. Um, they are budding for a lot more, though. Look at that. Chris Waters, they're getting 150k for him. Uh, Simon Hurley, they're putting in 50k at the moment, which is kind of strange, how Chris Waters. But he's really come along, actually, um, very well. Um, he's doing well for us. He's centre mid. Um, so I just have loads of rotation at the moment. Um, but otherwise, I think, well, actually, our intake this year, we did have a very, very good player come through. Uh, Wayne Clark, a right back, came through this year. And for, like, we have a very good squad now. And for him to come in straight away and be two and a half stars with five star potential was ridiculous. Um, just, I thought, like, we've really got a good player here, uh, especially with 18 determination, 16 work rate, he's already got 12 tackling, so our youth facilities are really starting to pay off now as these really good players coming through. He's already, um, had a bid, I think, from, like, Rangers or something earlier on, and he's 16, so he's got, he's got very, very good stats here, so hopefully he'll come on and do well for us. I think he's already made a few, four appearances in the league, and he's improving already, um, I don't think there was really anyone. There was Rob Pearson, um, a striker, but he's got 14 finishing. So he's good, but he's not basically Wayne Clark um, good. And Darren Mainwaring has done very well this year. Um, he's improving um, every day. And, was, and then Chris Waters as well. He's improving. We've got so many good players like coming through our squad now. Um, if we look at the ability, like potential-wise, look at that. Oh, there. We've got 5-star, five 5-star, five 5-star, five 5-star, five 5-star, five star, and then all of those 4.5-stars, and, and then everyone else um, doing well. But Simon, like, Simon Draper's dropped to like a 4-star potential rating player, I think, somewhere. Um, don't even know where he is now. But uh, And the wages are still low. Uh, Simon Draper's still the um, like highest paid. But yeah, he's just been incredible um, for us. So... Uh, He's doing well for Wales now, which is crazy. Um, and look at look at this. 174 games played, 112 goals, 89 assists, 38 player of the matches, and a 7.47 average rating. It's crazy. Like He's considered kind of like a veteran player, and he's played seven seasons with us, and he's only 22. Um, I think he's a, he's a legend as well now of the club, if we look at information. Um, I am a legend. Simon Draper's a legend, Casey Thomas is a legend, and so is Alex Evans. Um, but yeah, so we're doing very well now. Still only got 82 season ticket holders, even though we're in the Champions League. But that's probably a problem there. But otherwise, we're doing very, very well. Um, generally, just that's it, really. Um, just doing well. Hopefully, we can keep on going into next year and get a better Champions League group step game and get some maybe like a, our first win, actually. No? 
we had a win against Anderlecht. <laughs> get like the first sort of mo big points and get third maybe. But yeah, it's actually quite good that Banger came third this year because they were, last game of the season they were pl we were playing ABBA, and we were drawing at one stage. And if we look at the past winners, for the past four years it's been us TNS ABBA, and now finally it's been changed by Banger there. Um, and we still need to knock TNS off their perch. They're doing pretty well. Um, they still just have like the upper hand because they are. I think they are um, professional. Like we got two professional clubs. Everyone else is semi-professional, but definitely we're just d dominating now. So I'll be back next year um, to sort of do the review and European qualification and whatnot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.